Next. Big fight feel. We have Neville in a match of epic proportions. I don't know if we've ever seen something like this before. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. treat tonight. Both of these superstars look geared up and ready to go. If you think it's hot outside, just wait for the opening bell. Huh, this one's going to be blistering. Introducing the challenger from Newcastle upon Tyne, weighing in at 194 pounds, Neville! Introducing the champion from Japan, weighing in at 180 pounds, he is the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Akira! So much anticipation, and it all comes down to this. Both men enter this match with tidal waves of momentum, which set them on a collision course for this very moment. It's all or nothing, and these two men wouldn't have it any other way. I'm so glad we're here to see this championship match. This is gonna be good. Mono a mono, one fall will decide it. But here's the thing, you have to perform if you want to bask in that WWE glory. Well, well, well. That's the first time tonight we've seen that move. I wouldn't mind seeing it a little more often. Let's talk about the challenger for a moment. Do you really think he can unseat the champion here? Talk about rising to the occasion. I tell you, the champ is going to have to be on point here tonight. Oh, win here would be monumental. 
Adding gold to your trophy case is the goal of every superstar and diva. That may be the first time we've seen that executed. Not every move is designed to get the fans off their feet. Challenger's taking on some offense. You can bet he's not going to let this golden opportunity slip so easily. Come on. If he can't withstand this, he's in the wrong profession. Oh, it's been a great matchup to this point, and this could really go either way. Back between the ropes. Neville is making his presence known. Neville making his statement as we speak. What a reversal. Nice reversal there. Clearly on a mission here. I think some rain actually came down with that moonsault. Well, that missed him all right. Hey, did you look before firing? What an idiot. Use the ropes to launch the senton there. Man, he just fired off those ropes. The champ to the top turnbuckle. What's he got in mind? Takes to the air. Wow. Adding insult to potential injury there. This is a wreck. He's moving like an uncaged animal. Oh, wow. He's wild in there. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. Oh, this isn't good. Wow. Wait a minute. What's he coming out for? Oh, no. We're in the middle of a match here. This is outrageous. Yeah, it's not going nose to nose with your enemy, that's for sure. You got to watch your back. One, two. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. to the entire WWE locker room here. Oh, wow. Neville goes down hard. Ouch. Whoa! Whoa! German suplex. Lightning strikes twice. There's the finisher again. It might be time to say good night. And the officials seen enough. The officials throwing him out. Take a look at that again. This could do it. Maybe it. Two, three. It's all over. That's the final elimination.
There should be no doubt in anyone's mind that he's the true and deserving champion. Absolutely. What an incredible match. Well, he just showed what... And coming up next is a contest where things can get out of hand very quickly. And I'm sure they will. It's Team Curtis Axel versus Team Jason Jordan. Man, I'm getting goosebumps already. The following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 228 pounds, Curtis Axel. We're just moments away from the start of this six-man tag match. Let's don't wait any longer. Let's get it going. I, for one, have been looking forward to this match ever since it was added to the SummerSlam card. Just moments out from this six-man tag match. This is going to be a war. Yeah, but who's going to win? If you think it's hot outside, just wait for the opening bell. Huh, this one's going to be blistering.
residing in Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz! If you're just joining us, we have a treat for you in the form of six-man tag action. I love a great six-man tag. If you think it's hot outside, just wait for the opening bell. <laughs> this one's going to be blistering. And their opponents first, from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 245 pounds, Jason Jordan. Jason Jordan making his way to the ring. If you think it's hot outside, just wait for the opening bell. <laughs> this one's going to be blistering. From Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 235 pounds, Matt. Big match up here tonight, and this arena is electric. Oh, man, you can feel this crowd. It's not very often you see this much star power in the ring at the same time. It reminds me of me being in the ring with me. From California, weighing in at 220 pounds, the Ghost. Six-man tag action just moments from starting. These competitors are ready to go. If you think it's hot outside, just wait for the opening bell. <laughs> this one's going to be blistering.
And here we go with this three-on-three -three tag team matchup. Well, six competitors in the ring, but only one team will prevail. Three-on-three, three, let's get it on. Mm. But no matter what we say outside the ring, it doesn't matter as much as what happens inside that ring. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. Yeah, you really have to enjoy hurting someone. Jason Jordan, what offense. I'd say that's more embarrassing than anything else. He's inflicting some serious pain here. starting to falter now to be expected when you combine six of WWE's most volatile forces into one match. Here's the deal with this guy. You can knock him around all you like, but he's just going to keep getting up and coming back at you. I don't disagree. And one thing I'll never do is count this guy out. Tired of watching this. Do something different. I don't like the look of his eye here, folks. I don't like his entire face. He goes for the quick pin attack. Count, Rance, count. And he fails to connect with anything that time. Man, that was some miss, all right. I can feel the breeze all the way over here. how slow he is to react right now. Offense like this is exactly how a competitor takes control of a match. It's the way I always used to do it. Boy, there's no way he's going to be able to stand after that. The Miz with a reversal. Don't sleep on the Miz. He can strike at any time. Look at this. Jason Jordan doing some good work here. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Can't just look at this man. He's all business. And that's the way he has to be if he wants to win here tonight. He saw that one coming. Jason Jordan is looking at this right now. Oh no, hard. They thought this could do it. I think so. One, two, three. Jason Jordan looked impressive tonight.
Here are your winners, Jason, Jordan, Matt, and the Ghost. Nice teamwork by these three to pick up the win. Look, it's back to the drawing board for The Miz. What a matchup that was. Truly incredible. Singles action is up next. You're not going to want to miss this. Nor my commentary. It's Bray Wyatt versus Finn Balor. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait to see these two go at it. As we get ready for singles action, I'd like to remind everyone you can see matches like this and more on the WWE Network. Oh, this one's going to be a hard-hitting affair, just the way I like it. And his opponent, The Club, from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor. In Electric Arena tonight in anticipation for this matchup. I can't wait to see what happens when the bell rings and these two finally get to go at each other.
Well, I've never seen him do that before. Look out below! Looks like his shoulder has a giant target on it. Perhaps looking to take the action to the outside here. Perhaps. It's happening, Cole, right before your very eyes. success outside the ring than in it. We'll see if that holds true. Yeah, but he's got to remember that matches are won inside the ring, not outside. Getting back into the ring now. Yep, there's the reversal by Finn Balor. Look at Finn Balor making his moves. He is slowly getting dissected. He's got him down. Cole, is this it? It could be. You can practically feel the wear and tear that's been done throughout this match. Hey! And he fights out of it. He breaks the hold. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly, real fast. He's certainly showing us something new from his repertoire. That's cool. I like new stuff. Here's a cover. Bray Wyatt is so adept at manipulation that his opponents are not only fighting him, they're fighting themselves. Man, oh man, did he take a wild swing with that one. You're right. That was wild indeed. Good thing we're over here. Finn Balor making a statement as we speak. The oh no! When this guy's on, he's looking for the win. This may be it. more damage he can take. And now it is show off time. Don't waste time floating here. There may be no stopping him. Finn Balor 
is in position. And here we see it from this angle. Oh my gosh, looks even worse from here. On to the outside he goes, where anything can happen, and usually does. Yeah, and usually happens to our announce table. You better move your crown, King. <laughs> You just knew a match of this caliber was going to spill out on the floor eventually. I mean, when you put these two competitors together, anything's going to happen. Two. Three. I just can't get over the physicality of this match. This has been brutal. Brutal and very, very painful for these guys. Look at Finn Balor here. The finality of this environment is so apparent, King. I don't know about that, but this area is so, so dangerous. Back in the ring now. Seven. A few more seconds, and this could end in the count out. Action outside. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. What do you think Finn Balor needs to focus on right now? He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win this match. And on top of that, he's been spending a lot of time outside the ring during this match. You have to wonder what the strategy is here. Sometimes you have to be bold and not be afraid to take risks, Michael. It appears now is one of those times. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. Wisely bringing the action back into the ring. Yeah, a very, very smart move. Now back to the ring. I'm not sure if he knows where he is right now. Nicely done there. Oh, Bray Wyatt felt that. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. Hey, he's going for it again. Seems like these guys are letting out a lot of pent-up frustration tonight. Bray Wyatt putting it on him right. My God, his body's been through hell on his ribs. Have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. Big counter. Nice reversal. There can only be one top dog here in the WWE. And a win here will go a long way in solidifying one of these guys' claims of being the best in the business. We got a cover. And he rolls out, buying himself some breathing room. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. You're right about that, Cole. This has been an all-out war. It looks like we're going to see what kind of pain they can inflict out here on the floor. Reversal. And now the toll of this very physical contest is beginning to show on his body. Looks to me like he just hit a wall. Well, he's not looking as good as he was earlier, but that doesn't mean he's done. Oh, wow! Who would have thought this match would be as evenly contested as it is? Uh-oh. Things could get real interesting out here. It's always interesting when they battle outside the ring. Oh my god, I can't believe what we've seen thus far. 
What can possibly happen next? Nothing. Look at Finn Balor making his moves. this whole ringside area as a weapon. Oh, yeah. Everything from the floor to the barricades can and will be used to inflict pain. People have been wanting to see these guys go at it for a long time, and by the sound of this crowd, I think they're getting what they wanted. Right through the announce table. Well, how much did that hurt? Was insane. And we see it one more time. And it's imperative he gets back in the ring right now. He wants no part of the outside. And I don't blame him. Nothing good ever happens outside the ring. Careful what you wish for. It can get real ugly outside the ring. And these guys are real ugly. Two. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. A quick scoop slam. Look at those eyes. Oh, yeah, this could be big. He anticipated that move perfectly. Using the forearm and the European uppercut. Perfect counter. When this guy's on, look at him. He's trying to fight back here. Can he do it? When he gets going like this, there are a few better. He's going for it all. This could be it. He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. Oh, my God. He's all the way up top. Here we see it one more time. Yeah, I don't know if I can believe what I saw the first time. This has got to be it. It's it. It's over. Two, three. And Finn Balor is your winner. Here's your winner, The Club, Finn Balor. He gets a victory here tonight. Love him or hate him, that was an incredible match. An incredible match and a big, big victory. These guys look like a couple of hosses going at it in there. Great match. And I'd say that match certainly lived up to SummerSlam's historic and prestigious past.
Ladies and gentlemen, all the anticipation leads to this moment. Welcome to SummerSlam. Ladies and gentlemen, after all the buildup and predictions, we finally made it. This is SummerSlam. We are coming to you live, eager to hear that opening bell. We're live, and as you can hear by the roar of this crowd and ready to kick this thing off with style. Don't change that dial, because we have an action-packed WWE match card tonight. And now it's time for the SummerSlam match. Talk about... Don't change that channel. We have singles action coming up next. It's Colin Cassidy against Big Show. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait to see these two go at it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Queens, New York, weighing in at 276 pounds, Big Cass. Social media has been a buzz for quite some time about this matchup, and now we are just moments out from the start. A win here would do wonders for this guy's career. And his opponent, standing at seven feet tall, weighing in at 450 pounds, The Big Show! Here comes seven feet, 425 pounds of lethal humanity. Oh, it's almost not fair to have to get in the ring with Big Show. If you think it's hot outside, just wait for the opening bell. Huh, this one's going to be blistering. Thank you for joining us tonight, folks. We have an amazing night ahead of us. Yeah, and we're just moments away from tonight's opening match. I can't wait. This is going to be good. After a move like that, he's going to need a chiropractor in his near future. He's taking a lot of punishment. If it continues, it could eventually affect his vision. Yeah, already seeing stars. You've been in there with men of that size before, King. What are your thoughts on the big show? What do you expect his approach to be here? You never want to end on the short of the stick, but if it happens at the beginning of a match, at least you have time to get things back on track. I don't know, Cole. Both of these competitors appear to have that fire in their eyes tonight. This one's going to be great, I can tell you that. A piercing strike. You know, maybe the most remarkable thing to me about Big Show is how agile he is for a giant. I mean, you wouldn't think nimble is a word you'd use to describe a 7-foot, 440-pound Goliath. But with the Big Show, it almost fits. Well, almost. <laughs> Cassidy is making his presence known. 
Well, moves like that at this stage are not to win any match. It's, they're just used to send a message. Yeah, I think this guy's really showboating now. Wow, Big Show's taking some heat here. Well, as agile as the world's largest athlete may be for his size, there's little doubt that his most valuable quality is his sheer bulk. If Show gets an opponent caught in the corner, he'll block him out like an eclipse, and there's no way out. Yeah, that's why Big Show holds a mental edge over so many of the performers he gets in the ring with, Cole. Just knowing the strength and size of the giant across the squared circle, it's something you can't get out of your head, and it's a big advantage for the world's largest athlete. And, 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 three. No! Talk about getting launched out of the ring! Keep your eye on this one. Yeah, this should be good. Get him some air here! I need some too after sitting next to you. Where else but in the WWE are you going to see something like that? Colin Cassidy putting it on him right now. Legs taken out by the Russian leg sweep. Wait a minute, we're not in Russia, are we? I'll never forget, I was ringside the night Big Show made his debut at the St. Valentine's Day Massacre in 1999. And I still remember the entire WWE Universe just being stunned at the sight of him. I mean, he was mean and nasty back then. And you know what? He's only gotten meaner and nastier since. I don't remember the last time he executed that maneuver. Colin Cassidy doing a great job of turning that around. When this guy's on, look out. Big Cass fired up. Got him where he has it. Hey, come on, three. Boy, he just got laid out. This match is, oh my gosh. A knockdown drag out brawl, complete with a big stomp. Man, these guys are throwing bombs. They're pulling out all the stops. The big Cass starting to stumble a bit here. But we all know that he isn't afraid of a good fight, which is what we're seeing here. Would you look at this guy? How many times is he going to do his finisher? It's not working. Move on. Oh, man. At this point, he might want to think about adopting a new finisher. He certainly hasn't finished anything here tonight. Oh, no! Sometimes when you go high risk, you crash and burn. And sometimes you knock it out of the park. And that was a... Because how much more punishment can the world's largest athlete endure? A tight hold here. Does he have enough left to fight out? And there's the release. What's going to happen now? I'm scared to ask. And there's the reversal from Big Show. He was able to reverse that. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt-kicking right here. Look at this. He's just barely moving. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. And, 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 three. He can't find up. Got him where he wants him. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hit of weakness in the other. Well, that's a strategy you have to always have in the back of your head, Cole. If you ever see a weakness in your opponent, you got to jump on it. Big Show fighting a path of destruction currently. And can you believe that impact? And just like that, this move is leading the charge. Yeah, charge! He may be trying to systematically chop his opponent down, starting at the bottom. And he reversed it! Good move there! Added insult to potential injury there. He's wearing down the midsection. God, there was nothing accurate about that attempted at offense. Oh, you're being too kind. Some people would use other words to describe what we just witnessed. Colin Cass 
Cassidy is making his presence known. He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. These guys are giving it absolutely everything they've got. They're not holding anything back, and I love it. Colin Cassidy has found himself in a bit of trouble. Where do you see him going from here? He'll need to find a way to turn things around here. And by the way, what we've seen so far is any indication of what's to come. I fully expect him to go for that finish again the next time he sees an opening. You know, every now and then, it's okay to break from the game plan and take a bold risk. I'm thinking that right now might be one of those times, Michael. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. He was one step ahead on that one. A big fist to the gut. He's certainly showing us something new from his repertoire. That's cool. I like new stuff. Contest has a victor. That's a win you remember for a long time. I don't make the matches, but if I did, I'd put these two back in the ring. ASAP. What an amazing. Now look at this. Perhaps looking to take the action to the outside here. Perhaps. It's happening, Cole, right before your very eyes. Business is about to pick up. Oh man, I wouldn't mind a wireless mic right now. We don't want to be here much longer. Uh oh, Colin Cassidy is looking to end it. Oh good God, the announce table is shattered, and both of these superstars are laid out. How will these guys do with absorbing the punishment they're about to receive out here? Oh boy, good cast. Show off time. Don't waste time gloating here. Hold on to your seats. We have singles action coming up next. This is going to be good. We have Alexa Bliss versus Sasha Banks. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait to see these two go at it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss making her way to the ring. Come on, Alexa. They've been buzzing about this one ever since this match was announced.
her opponent from Boston, Massachusetts, Sasha Banks. There she is, the boss, Sasha Banks. Oh, this one's going to be a hard-hitting affair, just the way I like her. Tonight will be a night like none other. Ladies and gentlemen, this is SummerSlam. Michael Cole along with Jerry the King Lawler and King. I hope you're as ready as I am. Are you kidding me, Michael? This is one of my favorite nights of the year. I've been looking forward to this ever since last year SummerSlam ended. This is a perfect way to get things going. That's the first time she's executed that move. She's experimenting. I like that. I love when a diva experiments. Talk a little about Alexa Bliss. She's someone who trusts her conviction and isn't afraid to make a bold statement. That's for sure. She's got a long way to go before she should be thinking about a pinfall victory here. Yeah, right, Cole. What was she thinking there? like that can upset your opponent more than hurt them. Perhaps looking to take the action to the outside here. Perhaps. It's happening, Cole, right before your very eyes. She's starting to take a beating, though we've seen her come back from worse in the past. Well, I don't know if these Divas could be any more evenly matched than they are. What a match. Yeah, but it's been a pretty even back-and-forth battle up until now. in the ring now. Wow, she's showing something different here tonight. And Alexa Bliss heads for the top rope. We got a cover. Wow, that was a wild strike. Talk about missing the target. Yeah, it looked like it was completely out of desperation. Every time she has to get back to her feet, it takes more and more effort. She clearly liked the results from the first time she delivered that move. First time for everything, I guess. Oh, uh, look out. She missed her target that time. Yeah, I guess you could say she was just a bit off the mark with that one. Reversal! Alexa Bliss showing her skills! I think she's trying to prove a point here. The quick reversal there by Sasha Banks. The boss is just too clever there. She's out thinking her opponent. That move at this juncture of the match makes the intention unmistakable to be little. Trying to humiliate your opponent. There's no place for that here. Slowly back to her feet. I couldn't stand being in a hold like this unless she's the one applying it. Whoa! And she fights her way out. Okay, now she's just showing off. 
Look out. There she goes. Oh, no. And that was not a good landing. Inside the ring now. What a wild attempt at striking your opponent. I don't know if she could have been further off the mark. <laughs> that was like a haymaker. Like she was taking that big home run swing. And it's Bliss with the clever move. Out thinking her opponent. Uh, it could be over here. Yeah, maybe. Alexa Bliss may have it. And Alexa Bliss heads for the top rope. Watch out! Tremendous action in this match. And here we see it from this angle. Oh my gosh, looks even worse from here. This match has taken so much out of her. Great one-on-one -on -one action here tonight. It doesn't get much better than this. Talk about a target. The largest bullseye is always in someone's back. Yeah, that's bad. Man, this has been a great matchup. You're right about that, Cole, and Matt Classic. And there's the reversal from Sasha Banks. She has some reason to be concerned here. By no means is this dire straits for her, though. The bottom line is she's winning. It may not be pretty, but she's definitely been the more dominant force up to this point. Well, it's hard to argue, John. It's also hard to argue that her finisher just isn't working for her here tonight. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Alexa Bliss is able to get out of the way. She saved herself there. She's going to need to protect the back of her head better than that. It looks like her back is in bad shape. It all started in 1988 when SummerSlam emanated from New York City. The main event for that inaugural event, the Mega Powers versus the Mega Bucks. Hey, looks like she wants to go home early. Me too. She's having a hard time getting back to her feet after that. I'm glad I have a library card because I really like checking her out. With a move like that, she's just trying to insult her opponent. Well, uh, look out. She missed her target that time. Yeah, I guess you could say she was just a bit off the mark with that one. That back was clearly part of her game plan heading in. A high-risk maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. Look out below. And Alexa Bliss heads for the top rope. This man, look out, look out. And we see it one more time. Two. You're watching SummerSlam, truly one of the most historic events in the history of sports entertainment. Look out, that leg is just getting destroyed. I don't know how any weight can be put on it. There will not be much walking tonight. There's definitely 
facial damage. I just wonder if anything's broken. Yeah, he's gonna have a Roman nose. Gonna roam all over his face. Nice reversal. And it's Bliss with the club. Oh, was he win it here? I think so. Good Lord, that wasn't even close. So that's what it's like being so far off the mark. What does Alexa Bliss need to do now? And you can't help but wonder how much of this she can sustain. I gotta say, she's gone to her finisher far too many times here with limited success. It's time for her to come up with plan B. At this point, it might make sense for her to go for one of those, one of those bold moves that she's become known for. So she's got to do something. Oh, she can win it here, maybe. I don't know how much more of this kind of damage she can take. Uh-oh, big move coming. Okay, now she's just showing off. Moves like that can upset your opponent more than hurt them. And she's toast. I don't know how much longer she's going to be able to go. And Alexa Bliss heads for the top rope. Incoming! And here we see it from this angle. Oh my gosh, looks even worse from here. Got a win for Alexa Bliss. Here's your winner, Alexa Bliss. That's a win you remember for a long time. You know, I have a feeling we're going to be talking about this diva for a long time to come. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next, King. It's the best. It's Baron Corbin versus John Cena. This is going to be a big one. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds, Baron Corbin. Oh boy, we're in for a treat tonight. Both of these superstars look geared up and ready to go. Big match for him tonight, but he certainly looks up for the challenge.
his opponent from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena. This one's going to be electric. This city has been buzzing all week in anticipation of this very event, SummerSlam. Where's this going? Well, I think it's going to be a highlight reel. They better get back in the ring. The bell is rung and Baron Corbin is on the prowl. Yeah, this is a marquee match with a lot of pride and professional reputation all on the line. It's go time, people. But I know one thing for sure. If history is any guide, this night will be epic and awesome. Now, King, I'm going to lay one on you here. You've been in that ring with the best this business has ever known. What do you think about John Cena, and can he be beaten fair and square? You have to respect the way he goes about his business. He's all about getting the W, and fans seem to love him for that. Well, we're going to find out who's the better competitor, that's for sure. No gimmicks here. Just some good old-fashioned one-on-one action. Cena's held world titles on numerous occasions. Nobody has a champion's drive like John Cena. Starting to stumble here. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. And Michael, this might very well be where one of these guys pulls away from the other. And on top of that, John, these two guys couldn't be any more evenly matched at this point. Got to be careful not to get counted out here. If that referee reaches 10, you're history. Whoa. Out of the ring. Now what's going to happen? All this action outside the ring. Real dangerous out here. And he brings the action back inside the ring. Two. You just knew a match of this caliber was going to spill out on the floor eventually. I mean, when you put these two competitors together, anything's going to happen. And the offensive two. display by John Cena. Three. That may be the first time we've seen that executed. Continuing his count toward 10. King, if you had to use one word to sum up John Cena as a superstar, maybe it would be power. He is possibly the most powerful, forceful performer we've got in WWE. Oh, you can say that again, Cole. Who needs finesse when you pack the kind of wallop that John Cena does? I mean, he is all about strength, muscle, and inflicting maximum damage. Can he do it? Maybe. Nobody home there. Nobody home? Cole, that looked like the house has been empty for months. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. He's measuring. We've been talking about John Cena's power, but we can't forget about his technique either. He is definitely a savvy performer. But I think it's the all-around power John has. He's got him down, Cole. Is this it? It could be. That stop might have only lasted a second, but it's going to be felt tomorrow. That may be felt for a lifetime. I don't know how much more damage he can take. Show-off time. Don't waste time gloating here. Well, we're talking about John Cena's power and technique. You know, they both go so well together. It's exactly that type of complete package that makes him the superstar he is today. Truly awe-inspiring. Extra slow getting back to his base here. And what a reversal from Baron Corbin. Insult 
to potential injury there. The quick reversal there by Baron Corbin. Playing mind games. Yeah, a little intimidation there. seen him do that before. Boy, he is really tired now. That tank of his has to be reading empty. It has to be, King. But I still don't see him giving up. He's certainly showing us something. Good Lord, did you see that? Oh, man, Michael. That was some shot. Cena's got to be in bad shape now. It's been a wild road to SummerSlam, and it all culminates here tonight with the biggest event of the summer. I'm sensing a pattern here, Cole. And what would that be? Well, he's going to do the same thing over and over and over. He's showing no signs of letting up. Not this. He's looking at it again. Looking at it again. Can he score the pin? He's simply reminding him that he's here. Oh, he's on the move again. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. He's in full-on attack mode now. What an attack. Take it from me. There's never a good place or a good time to get hit. WWE's not like other sports where you call a timeout after a major hit. The match goes on. And he gets out of the way. Look at the pain on his face after that neck breaker. And what a reversal from Baron Corbin. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. Here's your winner, Baron Corbin! Here we go! I think business is about to pick up. Displaying a wide range of offense here. He's in full-on attack mode now. Look out, Baron Corbin is dead six! This is insane. Does this building have a curfew? I feel like we might be here all night. What a beating. Look at this. He's just barely moving. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. Ladies and gentlemen, in a few short moments, we will witness hell on earth. And it won't be pretty, I can tell you that. It'll be AJ Styles against two of WWE's toughest competitors. Big fight feel.
making his way to the ring. The Club! From Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles! Well, we've seen some hellacious Hell in a Cell matches in the past. And I don't expect this one to be any different. This city has been buzzing all week in anticipation of this very event, SummerSlam. His opponents first from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 236 pounds, Shane McMahon. The son of Mr. McMahon, Shane looks ready for a fight tonight. This triple threat match will be a main event on any show in any arena in any city across this nation. I assure you of that. from NXT to become the upper echelon of the WWE locker room. Kevin Owens looks ready to go. I, for one, have been looking forward to this match ever since it was added to the SummerSlam card. Welcome to another unforgettable night of WWE action. I'm Michael Cole, alongside my broadcast partner, WWE Hall of Famer, Jerry the King Lawler. And Michael, I can barely hear myself think. Would you listen to this crowd? Man, talk about an insatiable appetite for action. We're starting off strong, Michael, and things are just going to keep getting better. An aggressive shot to the midsection. Tell me your thoughts on Shane McMahon. A sickening hold here. Cutting off the flow of oxygen to the brain. And there may be no way out of this one. Ooh, that was stiff. If this continues, we could be talking about something no one wants to discuss. Facial reconstructive surgery. I know you don't like to talk about your facial reconstructive surgery. You have to respect that Kevin Owens knows what he wants and goes right after it. He's one of the most no-nonsense competitors we've seen in a long time. Yeah, but I'm not so sure Sami Zayn respects that. Kevin Owens wanted Zayn's NXT title and cut to the front of the line in February 2015 to take it. Kevin Owens may be in a bad way here. This is a dangerous spot for him to be here in this triple threat match. And it looks to me like neither of these guys are showing signs of pulling away here. Oh, it's been a great match up to this point, and this could really go either way.
You'd have to think that Kevin Owens' brawling style makes it incredibly difficult to game plan for. Getting back into the ring now. To the outside, where there are plenty of toys and plenty of time. No countouts in this one, Michael. As long as they stay as far away from the announce table as possible. AJ Styles just too quick. Uh, he is quick. Oh, the reversal by AJ Styles. Oh, you can't take many more shots to the face like that. Yeah, this guy's never going to look the same. just gets worse. We talk about separation between you and your opponent as a key to victory. I don't know how you can be expected to do that when you're getting beaten all the hell. To your earlier point, Poe, there's no game planning for a guy who's going to come right at you like Owens does. The only thing I can think of is maybe run. And here's an early cover. I don't like how slow he is to react right now. be big enough for what's about to unfold here. Are you kidding me? This entire arena may not be big enough. Oh, and did you hear the impact? He's starting to feel it here. But things can change in an instant in a triple threat match. And Michael, this might very well be where one of these guys pulls away from the other. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. He's not looking good here. His chances of winning this triple threat match are starting to dwindle. And, Michael, this could be the opening he needs to pull ahead. Well, I think pride is a big factor in this one, Cole. It always is. I think there's still a lot more to come in this match, and no one is out of it yet. No one. Shane McMahon is now dishing out serious punishment. He's taken a lot of damage. I'm not sure how much he has left in the tank. AJ Styles' legs are looking weak right now. He could be on his way out of this one. He may be. This should do it right there. I think this thing's over. Two, three. Shane McMahon scores the victory. Announcer, this one's over, and here's your winner. Well, if you didn't believe in this guy before, there's no reason not to now. Not after that performance. And that carnage that we just saw is a lot of the reason why you don't see many Hell in a Cell matches. As we just witnessed, they're incredibly dangerous, folks. We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next. Going to be good. We have Rusev against Randy Orton. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait to see these two go at it.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by the natural from Bulgaria, weighing in at 304 pounds, Rusev. Oh boy, we're in for a treat tonight. Both of these superstars look geared up and ready to go. Just thinking about the hell these competitors are about to put their bodies through makes me glad I retired. And his opponent, representing the Wyatt family, from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. Oh, I can't wait to see this one. I, for one, have been looking forward to this match ever since it was added to the SummerSlam card. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the biggest party this summer. Welcome to SummerSlam. I'm Michael Cole alongside Jerry the King Lawler at ringside, ready to call the action in this opening matchup. Ah, uh, SummerSlam. The site of some of my best work over the years. If you don't believe that, just ask Jake the Snake Roberts. This one's going to be great. Change his posture in a hurry. No kidding, it'll be hard to straighten up tomorrow. Tell me your thoughts on Randy Orton. As we get underway, what can the WWE Universe expect from this guy? Could you imagine being Randy Orton's opponent just in there waiting, knowing the Viper can strike at any moment? It's got to be nerve-wracking. Yeah, and I've got a feeling these two superstars both brought their A-games tonight. Rusev is making his presence known. This guy's kicks are so impactful. Oh, I think this man means business. Rusev is known as the Bulgarian Brute. His strength is superhuman, like a supervillain. But it doesn't end there. It starts there. Rusev's athleticism means this 300-pound monster moves like a cat. I don't know if anyone can stop Rusev. Moves like that can upset your opponent more than hurt them. Looks like Randy Orton has broken a sweat. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. And it looks to me like neither of these guys are showing signs of pulling away here. Rusev's domineering power and unbelievable athleticism is only matched by one other aspect. The Bulgarian Brute's rabid thirst to destroy. This man is trained in sumo and Muay Thai, as well as Greco-Roman wrestling, which means his ability to punish is endless. You're right. Power, speed, the desire for destruction. All of this, along with the ravishing Russian Lana, has resulted in some of the most terrifying moments we've ever seen in WWE. Look at a 
catch him off guard. Looking to catch him off guard there, I guess. Yeah, but I think a little too early in this match for that to be successful. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. Uh-oh, look at this. Look at this. You can see the results from that move. Look at this. Looking at it here. I think this is it. Every time he has to get up, it takes more and more effort. Did you see the next snap back? Great offense by Rusev. Look out. Rusev is measuring. The quick reversal there by Randy Orton. First time for everything, I guess. Rusev reversing it. Incre Randy Orton's got to be hurt after that. No kidding. I don't know how Orton's not laid out after that kind of punishment. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt-kicking right here. I don't know how much more damage he can take. After that, stay down, stay down. Look at this. There's the pan. Can his opponent kick out? I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. And now he goes for it a second time. It's well documented that Randy Orton has no absence of malice. And that will come into play in this match. Oh, his body has to be broken right now. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. Me too. I've given up even trying to figure out what they're going to do next. I'm just sitting back watching and enjoying has found an answer here. How much more? How much more are you willing to pay to win this match? This is unreal. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh boy. We know what's coming here. That famous Spike DDT. Man, he's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his bell got seriously wrong there. Randy Orton showing some adversity right now. And all pound out of nowhere. This is... He may get the three count right there. Going to be close. He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. And will this be it? It may be. Two. And the shoulder's up. It's only two. My God, what's it going to take? I don't know. I can't believe this, Michael. There's no keeping this guy down tonight. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. Oh, out of nowhere. And there's the reversal from Rusev. He's begging for it. He anticipated that move perfectly. It could be over here. 
Yeah, yeah maybe. And Randy Orton is your winner. Here's your winner, representing the Wyatt family, the Viper, Randy Orton. And there's your winner via pinfall. That was simply a case of one guy determined to prove his dominance over another. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. Up next is a long-awaited championship match. Big fight. It'll be Shinsuke Nakamura. In a match for the record books. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait to see these two go at it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Look at those eyes. The champion has no plans on relinquishing the gold tonight. He may be surprised. Monumental stakes here as the title will be on the line here in this one.
the champ will stop at nothing to retain the gold. And we're about to learn that right here. I can't wait to see what happens when the bell rings and these two finally get to go at each other. Introducing the challenger from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 230 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura. Introducing the champion from Punjab, India, weighing in at 255 pounds, he is the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Gene. Oh boy, look at the goal. This should be an outstanding match. What a night, ladies and gentlemen, that we have in store for you tonight. I'm Michael Cole, alongside the Hall of Famer, Jerry the King Lawler. And you know, Michael, I've been looking forward to this night for a very long time. Let's get it on. We're starting off strong, Michael, and things are just going to keep getting better. Well, I've never seen him do that before. Guys, let's quickly discuss the champion. Doesn't get any bigger. What can we expect from the champ here? That's a proud champion, Michael, for sure. But there's also a hungry challenger in that ring. And I have no idea which way this one's going to go. I know one thing. Nobody cares what you've done in the past, even if you are the champion. We know he's tough, but the back of his head is starting to resemble a speed bag. Yeah, punch after punch after punch. After punch. He's inflicting some serious pain here. a beating here's Nakamura with some offense of his own where did this explosion of offense come from and he dodges that one a bad place to be for the challenger and his heartless attack continues oh man this is getting tough to watch delivers that may be the first time we've seen that executed the challenger is starting to falter but he certainly comes into this championship match with a ton of momentum look at this guy he's better than what we're seeing right now and on top of that john these two guys couldn't be any eyes uh, obviously and he kicks out and he lives to fight again he may be in the best physical condition i've ever seen him in just draining the shoulder of any strength that has left. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. Shinsuke Nakamura.
Will this be it? I think he's got it. I'm a bit surprised that we saw a pin attempt here, King. I don't think he's done nearly enough to get the one, two, three. Oh, I absolutely agree. Oh, there is no quit in this man tonight. Here's Nakamura with some offense of his own. Watch this! And now, looking to put him away. Hey, one more time, just in case you missed it. Quickly into the cover, with a title on the line. Here we go. Two, three. New champion. We just witnessed what many felt was impossible. Gosh, new champion. And will things in the WWE ever be the same again? You're right. I think the entire landscape of the WWE just changed. And on top of that, there's a new... The wait is over. This one's for all the marbles, and it's coming up next. I can't wait. It'll be Braun Strowman taking on two of the toughest competitors the WWE has to offer. I can assure you this is going to be a wild one. match and it is for the championship introducing the challenger weighing in at 385 pounds braun Strowman. the wwe universe is on their feet in anticipation for this triple threat matchup that's because the universe knows that this match is going to be awesome the champ has a tall task ahead here in this title defense
last time I saw a challenger walk to the ring with so much confidence. Well, you can tell by the walk, the challenger is ready for this one. anticipation and it all comes down to this welcome everybody and thank you for joining us tonight i'm michael cole and to my left the hall of famer jerry the king lawler and i want to tell you something michael this might well be one of the most highly anticipated nights of the entire year this one should be great, and it's just going to keep getting better as the night goes on. I don't remember the last time he executed that maneuver. This is undoubtedly the chance of a lifetime for Roman Reigns. Well, he's the number eight contender in the world, but the question right now is, how can he win this one? This is a great opportunity to make a statement. Coming out on top of these two will do wonders for a career. Well, talking to him before the match, he liked his chances against both these guys. We'll see if he was right, or maybe just a little delusional. These superstars will do whatever it takes to win here tonight. I don't think there's any lengths that these superstars won't go to to achieve victory here tonight. You know, even when he was just starting out in WWE, Brock Lesnar was already a champion. He came straight off an incredible college career where he won the national heavyweight title. And just two years after that, he was lifting the WWE championship. 
Oh, Lesnar wasted no time making the leap from amateur freak to professional beast. He wants no part of the outside. And I don't blame him. Nothing good ever happens outside the ring. Wow. He was quick as a corpse on that one. What does Braun Strowman need to do now to remain a factor in this match? The challenger's hopes of becoming champion appear to be in serious jeopardy. Hoping to end it here. I hope so, too. Oh, Michael. Brock Lesnar's got a lot of years left in him yet. Don't think the Beast isn't going to be wearing some more championships around his waist by the time he heads home to Minnesota for good. Down to the floor. Oh, hard. Not where you want to be. What impact delivered from that toss. Look at this man. He's all business. And that's the way he has to be if he wants to win here tonight. Nice escape by Lesnar. And it's moves like that that made Lesnar the one in 21 and 1. The challenger is starting to slow down a bit here. He's going to have to find a way to fend off the champ here. But it's important to know that this match has been so evenly contested so far. You really can't pick a winner. Oh, it's been a great match up to this point, and this could really go either way. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. Braun Strowman doing a great job of turning that around. Oh, watch out. Two major blows with that weapon did significant damage. If this isn't enough to win the match, I don't want to know what's going to happen next. Snake eyes. When this guy's on, look out. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Braun Strowman. What should Roman Reigns try to do differently at this stage to stay in this thing? This mountain of a man, Braun Strowman. Oh, what's he doing here? Wow, power. He's looking for the win. This may be it. Two. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Oh, after that, you're not seeing stars. You're looking at constellations. You can practically feel the wear and tear that's been done throughout this match. Oh, Roman Reigns! He saw that one coming. Now, why did he do that? A move like that's low. It's appalling, if you ask me. Totally disrespectful. Well, when he sees the belt, he likes to hit below it. Look out, Braun Strowman is measuring. Oh, Roman Reigns unable to be contained. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. I'd say that's more embarrassing than anything else. Better be careful here. We've seen back injuries derail careers permanently. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. And we're about to take a little trip. Oh, no. Yes. I'm afraid you're right. Suplex City. But someplace nobody wants to go. The challenger looking absolutely exhausted in there. I'm telling you, Braun Strowman won't be able to withstand any more of this for much longer. You know, given how many times he's gone to his finisher, you'd think he'd be in better shape right here. Guys, if I'm him, I'm putting my finisher on ice. It clearly hasn't been working for him here tonight. Oh, they couldn't find a home for that one. Well, it certainly wasn't due to a lack of trying, Michael. You better get out of the way, Jerry. You're not as limber as you got. Oh, my God, the announce table. His body falling around a million pieces. If he keeps up this pace, this could hurt. Man, these are powerful shots to Brock Lesnar. I don't know how his equilibrium is not seriously impaired. You're right. What an attack. I think any other superstar would have been rocked right out of the ring by now. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. One, two. He wants no part of the outside. And I don't blame him. Nothing good ever happens outside.
outside the ring. Down goes Roman Reigns. When this guy's on, look out. Incredible counter. Braun Strowman reversing it. Incredible. Brock Lesnar making his statement as we speak. Oh, Braun Strowman gets rocked. The ring may not be big enough for what's about to unfold here. Are you kidding me? This entire arena may not be big enough. Hey, what a move! It looks like we're going to see what kind of pain they can inflict out here on the floor. Oh my God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. Sledgehammer to the spine! Oh my God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. That wild strike found nothing but empty air that time. <laughs> Man, that's what you call swinging for the fences and missing. between the ropes. Well, that's the first time we've seen that move tonight from out of the locker room. I kind of love it. Oh, you felt that go right through the body. You may not agree with this form of attack, but it's very smart. Now, time will tell if that'll be enough to win the match. Great counter. Oh, Brock Lesnar unable to be contained. The strikes have a little extra on them tonight. Boy, he is really tired now. That tank of his has to be reading empty. It has to be, King. But I still don't see him giving up. Cannot teach the type of tenacity that we're witnessing here. This is unreal. After the amount of punishment he suffered, it's simply amazing that he's still in this one. He can pin his opponent right here. I think this is it. Lesnar. Butt kicking right here. The champ counters, and you see the result. Hang, we're about to take a little trip. Oh, no. Yes. I'm afraid you're right. Suplex City. That's someplace nobody wants to go. The face buster. Quickly into the cover. And it's up. He got the shoulder line. He's showing the heart of a warrior. His body has shoulders down. Championship on the line. Two, three. Roman Reigns with the winner and a new champion, Roman Reigns.
Oh my gosh, new champion. And will things in the WWE ever be the same again? You're right, I think the entire landscape of the WWE just changed. But let's not forget, we have a new champion. What an effort we saw here. Truly a great...